do you know oh, yeah. one Harris voter that's not gay? I, you know, I don't assume people's political <laughs> positions. I have two brothers. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I have two brothers. One of them, I think, voted for Harris. The other one, I think, he, Biden, introduced him into reality. And neither of them are gay. I mean, I think they're both gay, but... <laughs> <laughs> Um, they're not actually. But they're your gay. brothers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think they're a bunch of fags, but <laughs> they're my brothers. <laughs> so not all gay males are Harris voters, but all right. male Harris voters are gay. <laughs> all jacuzzis are hot tubs, but not all hot tubs are jacuzzis. <laughs> also accurate. You gotta see me that one. My girl just lost a day ago. Like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am the highest version of myself. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the highest version of myself. I am. I know I am that I am. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Godspeed Podcast. I am your host, Joseph Guy. And I am Dan. And eats everything. He, he does sometimes. I'm not eating. I'm. I gotta change my name. I think. Why? It's time. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna be like a prince, or prince. like Madonna. Just Dan. You just wanna be Dan? You know, I'm done eating everything, bro. Yeah, you gonna be selective. I'm at. Places now? I haven't had uh, carbs in about a month. Nice. I've dropped uh, a whole stone. If we were in Europe. Dropped a few stone. A kilo. I've dropped a, 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 a few stones. Uh, sure. 20, 20, 20 lobs. I'm down. So Dope. we're going to keep chugging That's keep chugging along, you know? That's awesome. I might, have, you, bud. I, might have a, I might have a slice of pizza today. Might have a slice of pizza and hey, some booze. Do you, boo? Some slice. You know, I'm going to go see uh, my the guy who they say I look... Very similar to um, tonight comedy show. Tom Segura. Nah, Dave Chappelle, bro. Come on. <laughs> yes, Tom Segura. Is it Tom so, Segura? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have some Hopefully booze probably a little bit. So what's up, bud? What's up? Uh, Put some respect it's, on his name, bro. We're about uh, uh, we're a few days removed from election day. I think four mm. or five. How do you feel? Um, hopeful. I feel like hopeful. <clears throat> while I I really believe this is all a show and everything, you can feel like you can feel it with other people, like. On social media, you can fucking feel how hopeful everybody is and how like happy everybody is, and it's fucking crazy. It feels like a, a dark cloud has been lifted off. I wouldn't say everybody. Um, well, just well, this <clears throat> this video today is is we're gonna be watching some people that aren't part of the everybody. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, we're gonna be reviewing um, some uh, some crybabies today. We're going to do uh, reaction videos. Awesome. All right. Uh, awesome. Should we just start? You know, yeah. Okay. I just, no, what were you going to say? A certain, I, no, I feel a certain kind of way, man. Like, you know, people are people. People are going to people. And uh, it's important It's important to have difference of opinions. Every Every single video we play today, I love that person. I do. I love everybody. But today we're okay. going to laugh at people who are overreacting to dumb shit. Okay. All right. Well, let's get into that. Overreacting to not doing their own research and stuff. Anyway, uh, here's video one with this chick who's standing all awkwardly. Is she on business? or? I think she's about to be on business. To, to She's standing home or to the side of business. Oh, I see her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see how she's That's like a. I want. I want to be a model. <laughs> yeah. Someday. She's like, I'm gonna well, let me stunt fix my... everybody while I complain in this video. Let me fix my shoulders a little bit yeah. so they're off canty. 
<laughs> to the side yeah. a little bit. Okay. All right, let's just. Let's, I mean, she's much thinner than me. I gotta stop making fun of her. <laughs> You're fine, bud. So are you. So it looks like all the white women right, who voted for Trump are about to find out what Serena Joy went through when they cut off her little finger in The Handmaid's Tale. Because Trump's buddies are all over social media saying, hey, guess what? We are going to enact Project 2025, and Trump has just promised us all spots in his administration. Joke's on you. So have fun with that one, ladies, because we told you so. And when you are bleeding out in an emergency room, when they take away your right to vote, um, all of these things that are about to happen to you, um, they're not going to ask you who you voted for. They're not going to ask you what you thought about Project 2025 and you really thought it was Agenda 47 and that's not what Trump told you. They're not going to care one little bit because we're all going down with the ship. Okay? Because this country couldn't elect a woman president. They especially couldn't elect a woman of color. So instead, you put a man in office who's guilty of assault, who's a felon, because you'd rather carry water <laughs> for the white men in your life. What? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> they think they... It's funny because they have like selective... Selective <laughs> knowledge. Like, he was president for four years. <laughs> Go ahead, what were you... Oh, I, I'm trying... Uh, I gotta talk about this objectively because I have some liberals in my family and in my life that I actually care about. I do and, too. you know, I don't want to offend them too much but let me rip this bitch apart real quick uh project 2025 if you actually read it um a lot of it was well first of all let me say trump denounced that how many times he's not yeah. interested not it's not a thing he didn't make it, it was up. a scare it was no it was it was an agenda by a, a extreme um conservative party right kind of like antifa and black lives matter was extreme uh liberal agenda anyways uh, he's not for it, but there were some good. I did actually read through it. I don't know if everybody did. I read it, uh, but there's some pretty good stuff in there. <laughs> I d I don't agree with all of it. Well, yeah, but there is some there is some very good stuff in there. Um, that being said, he uh, they they're gonna take away your right to vote. Let really? One can I, only I dream. don't think. I re oh, that's right. Oh yeah, twenty. It was about twenty seventeen. They took the women's right to vote away. Oh, yeah. Remember last time Trump was president? Yeah. They. Oh, so she's definitely going based off um, history and facts. Yeah. Do you remember in um, twenty eighteen when, when they put us in that camp? Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. They put us in that apartment yeah. when they forced us to eat fast food every fucking day. Wait, no, that was in twenty seven. Twenty. Twenty. No. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, that's that's right. No, 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 no. It was when COVID, and then Biden took over, and they didn't want anybody to leave their house. Oh yeah. No, that's a real thing that happened. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So, anyways, um, man, the Del Delusion. she's wear she's wearing Delulu lemon pants. <laughs> Del she's wearing Delulu lemon. I gotta go, dude. That was awful. That's 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 it for me, guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> totally like I want to, I want to, I I want to like her, like, but she let. And here's the thing. I would, I would absolutely vote for a, a woman, but it's got to be the right woman. It can't be some yep. somebody who who didn't even win her primary. Yeah. She was the first one out when she was in a primary. Yeah. Just let's not forget that one percent. Um, she she was dropped in there because you know, and on top of that, she's gone. She's flip flopped on every single opinion she's had. She she was all for open borders. She's all for taking people's guns, like push taking people's guns. 
and was all for trans rights and all those things. Like, let's get them, let's give them operations in jail so they can go, whatever the case. Um, but as soon as it gets, oh, she, she's actually running for president. How fast can we get back towards the center? Yeah. How fast can we be more like Donald Trump in our policies? Yeah. It's just so you could try and win. That they didn't didn't work. Didn't even come close. You lost everything. Yo, they haven't even finished counting California. She's got six million votes. He's got like four, four and a half, and there's still over five million votes uh, that aren't, haven't been counted in California. Yeah, I, I don't think they're going to finish. I think they're just going to call it. They already called because it. Because they, they don't want to know the truth. They called it as soon as the polls closed in California. They didn't even wait. They don't even... They don't want to know the truth. Yeah. Um, But yeah, man, like... But... but, but, but <laughs> did you see the, um, the vote count for the past elections from like 2020 to, 20, to this year? How last yeah. year there's like fucking 15 last million election. more votes for yeah. joe biden than there are for Kamala. Isn't that weird? it's like they disappeared like people just disappeared it's, it's like dead people were voting or something yeah so this election just exposed last year's election fraud or last election's fraud so. all right let's let's keep going anyway sorry sorry to get out but no that's what the she, video is for we're we're, we're we're trying to we're gonna mm-hmm. laugh a lot but we're also gonna be like uh mm-hmm. this is where you're wrong retard yeah here's one more she's dumb she She's dumb. Yep. Delusional. I would love to know how I'm supposed to go to work today and pretend everything is fine when I have less rights in this state than a fucking fish. I can't even explain to you like the <laughs> anger and the type of grief that is happening in my body right now. To have sat on my couch last night and watched the right to my own being be taken away from me and millions of other women in the state of Florida. Like originally I said when I got the chance to vote, I was like, wow, usually I have to vote for a politician to be able to represent this issue for me. Here I am getting to fill out the ballot myself and make this own choice myself. But the reality is it never should have been a circle on a piece of paper that I ever should have had to fill out. Women's rights to their bodily autonomy and life-saving health care is not up for debate. It never should have been. I can't explain the feeling. I have no positive words to share, no hope, no uplifting. Just check on the women in your life today. Check on the women in your life today. <clears throat> so I'm, I, I, I'm not check on the women. privy to exact... <laughs> I'm not privy to the, uh, the, the what was on the ballot in Florida. But I'm assuming she's talking about the abortion, abortion policy. In, it's in the state's hands. It has nothing to do with Donald Trump getting elected. Huh? Uh, um, she, she did. She just say you should. I mean, you shouldn't have the right to vote on your what your own body does. It should should never be up for discussion. It, it shouldn't ever be on the table that somebody should be able to vote on her body. Even her, she shouldn't have a say in what happens to her. She's like. That that's like saying, "Hey, um, I don't want to make a decision on what happens in my body. Let's let's leave it up to this politician. It should yeah, never come up. It, it should like never be my choice." That's the best. The- but isn't it? But isn't it my body, my choice? Yeah, it wasn't. But wait, it wait, wasn't wait, during the COVID vaccine, but, though. But when we have to ask everybody and get the the majority rules here, opinion, it's not my body, my choice. It's for everybody. It just should just be about me and what my opinion is. Yeah. Bro, they don't make any sense. And also, you don't not have the right to go get a fucking a smushmorshin right. from the smushmorshin club. Yeah, yeah, they're still uh, medically necessary. They're illegal everywhere. And also, here's uh here's some stats for uh for everybody. This is the percentages of uh smushmorshins from rape and from incest and from. Here's, just look at the stats. Here, I'll pull it up. It's right in front of you. That's the stats. The fact, very, very, the fact very, of the matter very is, rare cases. The fact of the matter is, um, uh, abortion is used as a form of birth control in this country. Yeah. Right. And here, and I, 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 I actually voted f- for uh, abortion laws to be loosened in the state I'm currently in, because that's your cross to bear if you feel like doing that to yourself then good for you you can deal with that uh when you want to think about it later in life secondly um i don't think you know it's not up to me you know like like i agree with her it's it shouldn't be my choice so if if you want to do that go for it um 
I think there should be some regulation on it. I don't think people should be able to have late term abortions. Um, but also, uh, stop using them as a form of birth control. Yeah, stop going around fucking everybody dude, you see. Get off your fucking hoe dude. phases. All right. Uh, well, Donald Trump don't actually do that, solved cause... the hoe phase crisis. <laughs> How's how so? Uh, all these chicks are going on this four B movement where they don't have sex with men anymore. So he literally stopped women from being hoes. Thank you, Donald Trump. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Stop fucking. Um, I'm this. not. <laughs> I'm not for that. I think I think you should be hoes. Uh, just wear a condom or steal a, a bo- uh, morning after pill. Still, still, yeah. Here's the next video. Uh, oh, still, still a morning after pill. All right, because yeah. you don't have morals, anyways. Do so, huh? yeah. All right, here you go. Here's the next video. Donald Trump is president, years. and I think all women should stop having sex for the next four years, in protest and protection of your bodies. There you go. As we <laughs> know, if that little baby inside you gives you any trouble and you need an emergency health care, you're. All I have to say is good luck getting laid. <laughs> like um, especially in Florida, because me and my girlies are participating in the 4B movement. That's my next plan, and I'm dead fucking serious. You know, I'm here and talk of this 4B movement because Trump won the, the the presidency, right? My thing is this. Oh no, shiver me timbers. You know what's so crazy? We've gone so far left that we've come back around right <clears throat> isn't that crazy women are saying you know what we're not going to have sex with any of you anymore until you treat us with respect let me get this straight you had to have a woman lose the presidency for you to stop sleeping with men ah! they show you respect is that not hilarious to you we're not going to have sex with any men until y'all start treating us like ah! human beings Y'all was sleeping with men that wasn't treating you like human beings. We're not having any children until marriage. <laughs> Y'all were having children before. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you, what are you, who, who, are you, who are you telling? We've been asking y'all to stop being hoes for years. We've been asking y'all to stop being hoes for years. What? It takes Kamala <laughs> Harris to lose the presidency for y'all to say, you know what? We're closing our legs until we get some respect. All right, if that'll do it. <laughs> All right, if that'll do it. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It's so fucking funny. It's ironic. It's. Well. <laughs> <laughs> You like that one, did you? <laughs> <sighs> Yo, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> so they're upset that Trump won. So they're going to withhold sex. They're not going to just go out and random fuck it, randomly fuck anyone anymore. Yeah. Which is a conservative ideology anyways yeah. don't be a hoe <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not doing it so they're men voted for Trump. They're, they're protesting their 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 own rights as a woman yeah <laughs> or a person bro you can't <laughs> <laughs> falling, <laughs> falling into <laughs> yo they're fucking bad shit man some of them oh my god um, they should just, I mean, if they really, if they really wanted to protest, they would just go out and start fucking everybody randomly and getting, in, getting pregnant by homeless people and not being able to take care of those kids Yeah, even worse than they already currently can't. Yeah. That's my thought. Wow. That's dude. That blew my, I see. I didn't, I'm, I'm not on TikTok, so I don't <laughs> hear all this crazy, this crazy rhetoric Yeah. about, um, I, I have noticed not, uh, TikTok and X, their videos are way crazier than Instagram and fucking Facebook and shit. Yeah. Way yeah. crazier. Anyway, yep. Uh, keep going. I'm That's fucking, that was a good one. Feral! 
today. <laughs> if you see me, keep walking. Do not make eye contact. Do not square it up at me. Don't act like you know me. Like, I want to eat... Like, maybe they voted for Kamala, but, like, I want to eat them right now. <laughs> like, I want to take a bite out of those glutes in a Sounds like she's bad just way. I want to take a bite out of those glutes in like oh, a I'm, bad I'm, way. But here's the thing, right? You can't, bitch. Because <laughs> they can easily defend themselves against you. Yeah. That's why you need men. Women, when a woman needs a man to, or needs to be protected, they call men. Yeah. When a man needs to be protected, they call sh stronger men. <laughs> when you need to be protected, you call me. All right, next video. <laughs> you can't. You 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 can't be feral and take a bite out of their thighs because you're tough and mad. Yeah. Anyways. All right. <laughs> Lean, lean into what you're good at. Be loving. Bro. Caring. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm hearing is there's a blue bracelet that we need to wear. <laughs> because I want to make sure that nobody ever thinks that I am one of the apparently majority of white women who voted for Donald Trump. I do not want you ever to think that I was one of them. So, is there a particular bracelet? <laughs> Do we just make it ourselves? Um, let me know. Send me a link. Um, what, do, what do we do? Okay, so to my non-asshole white passing men, how do we signal to each other that we did not vote for Trump? All right, dude, we got you. Check this shit out. This is easy, really easy to do. So late! <laughs> Bad. It's a good symbol for them. Right? That's funny. That is funny. Is there like a particular bracelet? Here's a, Should we make it ourselves? Here, here. <laughs> one of my uh one of one of the, my ex coworkers from San Diego, uh very, very not, I hate to put it like that. Well uh, definitely gay. Um, <laughs> very gay. <laughs> so gay. Super uh, gay. Sorry, go ahead. Where's a Where's a bigger Trump hat than you, my friend? Really? So I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the the gay straight thing has anything to do with it. But it is funny to call Kamaris, Kamala Harris voters. I mean, gay. <laughs> do you know oh, yeah. one Harris voter that's not gay? Man. Oh, um. I, you know, I don't assume people's political <laughs> positions. I have two brothers. So I don't know. <laughs> I have two brothers. One of them, I think, voted for Harris. The other one, I think, he, Biden, introduced him into reality. Um, and neither of them are gay. I mean, I think they're both gay, but... <laughs> um, they're not actually But they're your gay. brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they're a bunch of fags, but <laughs> they're my brothers. <laughs> uh, but I, I, you know what I mean? So I guess I might yeah. know one or two. But right. every other man that I know isn't, isn't straight um, that he, voted for him. Yeah. No, I don't know, man. It's, uh, I don't know. So not all gay males are Harris voters, but all right. Har male Harris voters are gay. Right? It's like the jacuzzi hot tub. Like, all jacuzzis are hot tubs, but not all hot tubs are jacuzzis. That's, that's also accurate. That's what it, it's the same thing. Holy right. shit. Right, we're going we're gonna to keep going here. Here's this chick scream. Oh. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to get drunk today. And I'm gonna act like an angry black woman because I'm angry! I'm mad! I'm upset! I'm angry as bro! I'm angry! I'm hurt! My feelings are hurt! We okay. always finish last! We always come last to everybody! No, you don't. Even our own men! 
And you niggas mamas nope. be black. I'm so glad oh, you guys so got your yeah. cheap ass yeah. groceries and your cheap ass f***ing gas because you're broke as We did! You're f***ing broke! You're f***ing broke! No, I'm not. Broke! I said I'm f***ing doing serious! You're f***ing broke! I think the hardest part of all of this is just like thinking about all the men who were just like the economy Woman in my life. The economy. Woman in my life. The economy. <laughs> Get it out. What the hell? Yeah. Let's let it out. That guy was straight mm -hmm. or gay? I always knew that America hated women. Oh. I knew America hated women, that we weren't seen, we weren't heard, we weren't valued. I knew American <laughs> women hated women. Oh. Hey, do you think she's been Just to a Middle Eastern country? how much we were truly hated Lately? until this morning. This country, America, is a f***ing hole. It's garbage. <laughs> Talk about a floating island of garbage. Jesus this Christ. This is brought to you by Happy Nuts. You ladies, all would rather put a ladies, 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 go out and get your man some Happy house. Nuts uh, so you can be happy with his nuts. Comfort control, odor us. resistant, antimicrobial. <laughs> None of us are stressed about the election, right? It's, it's all, time to go to We bed. all are going to just go have the best night, the best night's sleep of our lives, aren't we? <laughs> Oh my god, that poor dog. Oh, that poor dog. <laughs> poor dog. Aww. He's trying. He's trying. <laughs> yeah, he's out there like, yeah. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Gear straight. I'm done with you. I'm done with you and your mother and your sister. I'm just done with all of this. He's mad he's getting deported. What do you mean? <laughs> he heard that accent. Go, <laughs> go. That looked fake. <laughs> Guys, we literally don't even have to panic. We literally don't even have to freak out right now. We don't even have to fucking, like, we don't have to freak out. We don't have to freak out because it's not even real. <laughs> because, bitch, freak out the fuck! <laughs> <laughs> And I chose family. Let's end this reign of terror now. I chose family. I chose women. <laughs> I chose America. I love you. <laughs> moving on. I'm moving on. We're moving on. <laughs> I love all of this. Let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> you think his shirt? Do you think his shirt comes in men's? <laughs> <laughs> You're straight. <laughs> Aw. It's in that two attackalovas uh concussions really fucking him up, huh? <laughs> Is that two attackalova? <laughs> I think so. It's an utter betrayal <clears throat> for any pain. That is not a cisgendered white. Why they gotta call us cis? If you voted for that sissies. man, if you voted for anybody other than Kamala, and you live and you live in one of the states that it was, you know, close. God, your glasses look. Stupid. Or if you didn't vote, fuck you. Fuck you. I don't want to hear about how shitty your life gets under his policies. Okay, I will tell you then. Live with that I, decision. Sit I'm going to sit with it. Let it make you Marinating uncomfortable. Right now. Fuck you. Here's a, here's a, No, go ahead. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <clears throat> um, All jokes aside, right? All jokes aside. Trump, Trump's got to bring it, bro. Yeah. He got, he's got to bring it. Bro, we've already had the Q episodes and shit. If it wasn't for Q, I'd probably be off all of this shit. I wouldn't even have voted. I wouldn't even be paying attention no, I, at I, all. I, I, don't, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. My man's got to bring it. 
Yeah, I do know. Like this has to be the best fucking four years we've ever had in our entire fucking lives. He's got he's got to do things he promised, right? He's got to fix the economy, he's got to fix the border, and he's got to but try to end foreign wars. Hey, D, if he does those what things, what did he do in the last four on. years? I I understand what he did, right? Every single but, thing he promised, he did. Uh, I understand what he did, right? But this is a new term. Yeah, he's got to bring it, bro. And and <clears throat> the way the reason I say that, right? He did those things. Oh, well, he was work, trying to do those things in his last term, right? Because he knew that he had potentially another term ahead of him. There's no, there's no more term after this, yeah. right? He, so if he wants, if, if two things, the Republican party wants to move forward in this direction with the bright stars that they have coming up with the Vivek Ramaswamy's and potentially Tulsi Gabbard's and RFK's and you know, juniors. And you know what I mean? Yeah. The people who have switched parties. Um, if we want to see the Republican party move ahead, um, in that direction, he has to bring it for the future Republicans. He can't just do it uh, for his own legacy. The, part two, though, do this shit for your legacy, homie. Like fucking, the American people got behind you. You yes. won the popular vote by five, at least five million votes. More, five million more people voted for him than they voted for her. You got to do Does it. Does he for look us, like bro. the type of person that's going to do something and then not succeed? Nah. No, that, and that's the thing. This this dude's fucking old as dirt out here working harder than most Americans. Yeah. Think about it, bro. How many people are just nonstop going? And, oh, hold on. While I'm doing more work than you, I'm still going to get in a fucking round of golf or two. My, bro, you don't, have, you don't have that energy. I know. You don't have, you don't, I don't have Donald Trump energy. Yeah. And I put in work. Bro, dude, dude goes. I know. He, he, I don't know where he gets it from. I, I don't know what he's on. I could use some of that. If, <laughs> yo, hit your boy up. We could use a sponsor of whatever has him moving. I, I don't know. Is it AG1? Happy nuts. Is it, it's not the, ha well, he probably, you know what? Donald Trump approved. Happy nuts. Go out and get your, um, <clears throat> I'm just saying. Uh, so like, like he's got to bring it, bro. And, that's why I said at the beginning of the beginning of the pod, how you, you said, how you feeling? I feel hopeful. You know, I hope I feel hopeful. Like he's actually going to do the things he said because and this takes me to part two. Dude, did you like living in San Diego? I loved it. You loved it. I loved it too. I had to leave. I, I, I miss San Diego. Me too. And a lot of the reasons why we left was, government. um, government, government bullshit. Government overreach, right? In everybody's pockets. Yep. Paying homeless people to be yeah. on the streets to make it dirty as fuck. Dude, a, a driving, a mileage tax. If you drive your own car, we're taxing you for how many miles you drive. Go fuck what? yourself on that one. <laughs> <clears throat> do, you, do you register a car in upstate New York? I do not. I have a truck that oh, I drive okay. around. So I remember when I left upstate, I paid $80 for two years of registration. On my on my Wrangler that I had, got to California. One year was seven hundred dollars for registration. Yeah, it's called government overreach and over taxation. They're trying to just stay rich. Vegas is actually more expensive to register. Oh. That's why I kept my shit registered in California as soon as I saw the prices. So, uh, anyway, my point being yeah. here, uh, Trump Trump did pretty good in in. Uh, California, if we want to continue to see like a, a Republican movement in California where they could potentially fix the state, he got, he's got to bring it. So hopefully someday I can move back there. Yeah. When it's and not all fucked. Another up. problem like is right they fucked it up so much that most uh, conservatives are leaving California. So that's going to be even harder to. You know. Can you imagine if all the conservatives conservatives had stayed? That state yeah. would have went red. I think. Oh yeah, I think it's, I think it is going red. They're just they. Just not counting. Suppressing it? Yeah. Anyways, right, sorry. Keep going. Sorry to... Here we go. If you've lost faith in humanity, clap your hands. If you've lost faith in humanity, and this is your villain origin story, if you've lost faith in humanity, clap your hands. <coughs> <laughs> That's a banger. I don't know where I've heard this before. That's a banger. I might have to mute it, though.
because of the song. Hey, I'm in eh. Walmart looking for I don't think so. a battery charger, and I happen to wear my Harris hat today. I hope you plug it in and jump in the bathtub. People are giving me the dirtiest looks. Then the guy who was helping me at Walmart gave me the dirtiest looks and made a snide remark. And I said, sir, I have three masters a Walmart worker? and a PhD and a published book on politics. I know a little bit about politics. Then he didn't treat me very well after that. So I went down the street to Jack's and got a battery charger. I need to tell you that these people that are giving the dirty looks are uneducated, and they're savages. 54% of American adults read at less than a sixth grade level, and I feel like this is a valid statistic to share right now. So don't allow them to intimidate you with their ignorance. If you are educated and voted for the right people, you have no apology. So he just called the majority of Americans stupid. Yeah. Good for him. Good for him. And he I took bet you I make more money from Walmart. I bet you I make more money than him. Probably do. But he's got three PhDs. Oh, good. Enjoy, enjoy those. <laughs> and he wrote a book on elections. Good for him. I bet you nobody bought it. It's on my bookshelf right back there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another beta. Cla- Liar. I'm done crying. Liar. My sadness is over. Liar. My anger has set in. Um, I am a very petty person. We know. And I am very proud of that. Love it about myself, oh. actually. Oh. And so I say this in the most disrespectful way possible. I don't care if you are my family. I don't care if you are my friend. I don't care if we've been friends our entire lives. Okay. You can literally go fuck yourself if you voted for Donald Trump. If you are so sad about your groceries being expensive, get a better fucking paying job. Do better in life. Get a fucking education. Do something. Because you are fucking stupid. And I hope you go jump off of a fucking bridge. So, now that the orange turd has won... We should now rename America hell because it is going to be hell on earth once they strip everyone's rights away that is no straight white cis man. Not a cis man. So buckle up. Hope you freaking Republicans are happy. I'm out of here. Oh no. Don't leave. Don't leave. He's going to leave. He's going to leave. Oh. Oh. Who are we going to? Never mind. All right. Let's keep going. Who are we going to? Never mind. Good morning, Mayor and Council. I'm speaking in support of items 5 and 27, because we need to expand black voices. The voices of our African-American brothers and sisters needs to be heard, especially after America chose to elect a white supremacist and educated rapist over the first African-American female in United States history. And that's why... It's so important, now more than ever, to be an ally to the black community. I am in a non-traditional relationship, and the lover that my wife took is an African-American with Puerto Rican ancestry. And I see firsthand the struggle that people of color go through on a daily basis thanks to my wife's boyfriend, Armando. (laughs) Our country was built on a legacy of white supremacy, and we need to foster a culture of diversity, equity, and inclusion here in Austin, especially since we elected a literal Nazi to be president! (laughs) (laughs) And my my wife, she's put me on a sex strike because she is no longer able to seek reproductive health care. And before the election, I had my very own chair right by the bedroom. And now I have to watch my wife and Armando make love from the closet. And it's so lonely in there. Do you think he's faking? Uh, yeah. It's clear this is fake. That's, that's, a, that's a, somebody making fun of the liberals. So please, 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 okay. please. As soon as you said a chair <laughs> thing, I'm like, oh, science, all right. For the love of health care. Yeah. Pass you had me. 27 because abortion is health It seems so real. Yeah, until they act like that. Yes, they do. <laughs> 
You're really going to clap at that? <laughs> clap at that? The one true Texan stands up. <laughs> Y'all really going to clap at that? Go get my horse. <laughs> Uh, this next video is actually <laughs> fucking hysterical. And uh, this one definitely is fake, but it's very funny. Donald Trump won, and I am very, very afraid that he might deport my mother-in-law. She entered illegally to the country, and she lives in a street for number 47 <laughs> apartment <laughs> in New York. <laughs> I am very, very concerned. That's right behind the green apartment. Yeah. I have nothing bad happened to her. The gate is always open. You don't have any dogs, either. It's three, four. Number 47 apartment. <laughs> That's funny. If she got the border, how my life would be. <laughs> Why? It's so funny. I'm in front of seven apartments. So, yeah, that guy was funny, right? Yeah, that was funny. I wonder if it really, his mother in law really does live there. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> well, he's got till January. Good game, 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 good game. There's a fuck ton of signs. Yeah, they lost. They did. They did. Narrow margin. She was a landslide. It's getting deeper every day. As more votes come in. Mm. All right, here's uh, two uh, ladies. Get ready with us while we tell you why we're so mad that Kamala didn't get elected president. I just really was excited to see my future daughter get destroyed by men in sports. You know, would have been a proud mom moment. I've never ever in my entire life wanted to be a homeowner or like marry someone who wanted to be a homeowner. And so it just sucks now that houses will probably be a little bit more affordable. I just wanted to live in an apartment the rest of my life. I wanted my future son to be able to use a tampon in a men's restroom without being judged. Or just like in general. It just sucks to me that the border is going to have more restrictions now. I wanted drugs to be more readily available for people who really needed them in their life. I thought it was something that's good for our economy, good for the homeless population. I was really excited um, to lose all these boys to World War III, finally get out of our hair. I really wanted my third grader to learn about uh, sexual reassignment surgery and stuff like that. I, don't, I, I just don't understand why people wouldn't want their kids to learn about that. It breaks my heart that people want to keep that secret from their kids, teach them young. You know, I was excited to keep paying $4 for the gas. If you can't afford it, you don't deserve it. I was really hoping that if Kamala became president, she would take back the abortion rights and put it in the hands of the government rather than the states. I just want my daughter to be able to have that option in case she does get pregnant in high school. Yo, one thing I noticed <laughs> about this election, and Anthony actually told me about it too. Um, so there's, it's weird because the generation, the people that are 18 and between 18 and 21 right now are voting for Trump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 22 to well, however, that is the group that is like crazy psycho about voting for blue, no yeah, matter it's a, who. It's, it's a college indoctrinated. Yeah, but um, younger people, highly educated, younger people, isn't it? Are voting for Trump, like isn't big it? Time. Isn't it crazy? Isn't it crazy that they spend all this money, um, to become highly educated, are but still aren't smart enough to realize Trump was the good guy here. It's because they watch the fucking idiot box, dude. It's that stupid thing right there. Like, the... The, the political yeah. elites are... Dude, there's a reason the Epstein list hasn't come out. Yeah. Because all the... They're all on it! Political <laughs> elites are on it! Yeah. They're all child molesters, bro. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Yeah. A fuck ton. 
And if they're not child molesters, they've taken money illegally. And if they haven't, if they haven't taken money illegally, then they're insider trading. They're doing something corrupt. That's why they do the job they do to get to the top to make. That's why they're all rich as fuck yeah. when they make less than me a year. Yeah. But they're rich. How? <laughs> How is that possible? They work oh, harder. Do you, think it's, do you think it's insider trading? Do you think? I mean, wh- what? It's giving money to your crane so they can wash it and then put it back in their pockets also. Our taxpayer dollars are going in their pockets. A hundred percent, dude. A hundred percent. And that's why I so, don't pay taxes. Well, that's not why, but it's one of the reasons anyway. Um, yeah, let's keep going. I am so confused right now. The amount of girls that are coming up on my For You page talking about <gasps> Trump has been elected president. Oh my gosh! We don't have any rights anymore. My grandma has more rights than I do. What the heck are you talking about? What? I can buy a car. I can buy a home. I can go to school. I can get a job. I can do everything a man can do. I can vote. I can vote. I have the freedom to go onto this wonderful app and speak whatever I feel like. That's my car telling me I need an oil change. Anyways, what rights am I losing? And if the only rights we're talking about are allowing men to come into the bathroom with me and play in women's sports and the right to kill an unborn child, I'm sorry, you're crazy and kind of demonic. So if you need a reason to unfollow me, there it is. <laughs> we, can you, we need to go, everybody go follow her. We need to go follow her. Go follow let's, her. Let's all go. Uh, what's her? What's her at? What was her IG? We need to follow her. We need to show that lady some love because she's a smart young individual. K a t i s t a g a r r. Well, I don't have TikTok, but it, those of you who have TikTok, go follow this girl. She, she needs some followers. It's Callis Dagar. She's a genius for her age. Well, I guess if that's basic stuff you should know to be a genius. But yeah, no, I get what you mean. Here's uh, what I was talking about earlier with the whole 2020 bullshit. Okay, my fiance just pointed something out to me. Look at this map. Look at all the states that Kamala has won, okay? Now look at all the states that no ID is required for voting. Isn't that all the states that Kamala won? I'm just going to leave that right there. Mm. Oh. Bingo! Yeah. Sorry, so that wasn't the Biden 2020 thing. That was no. voter ID thing. But, yeah. Oh, Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk. Uh, this guy. Hold on real quick. I'm Charlie Kirk. Yeah. You don't like I him? I put him up. No, no, no. I put him up against anybody. Oh, debate? For talking that shit. Yeah. My, my man brings it. My man brings it. No no statistics off top oh, of his yeah. head. Re, I mean, quotes books. Like, bro, I, I, I don't retain shit, bro. Like, <laughs> I have to. I have to. That's not true. Um, I would have to literally be studying for hours before uh, a debate to be able to bring it like this. It's wild. Yeah. This guy, I mean, but I'm assuming this is all he does, so I'm sure it becomes easier. Yeah, but absolutely. Talk about bringing it. Charlie Kirk brings it, bro. Yeah. You want to watch good videos? Go watch some Charlie Kirk. I agree. It's funny. After us. Distri- after us. After us. <laughs> of course. Trump's not even president yet. Have you seen what's happened in the last 48 hours? The misogynist appoints the first ever woman to be chief of staff. The Taliban announced they want peace with America and to be taken off the terrorist list. 
Putin came out and said that Western civilization is not an enemy. Mexico has started securing the border in, of course, response to tariff threats. Saudi Arabia is kicking out all of their Hamas leaders. New York is cleaning up their illegal migrant crisis. Xi Jinping came out and said he wants to peacefully coexist with China and said that they respect American people. The European Union chief finally came out and said, hey, America, can we start buying LNG from you so they stop buying from Russian gas? Putin says he takes Donald Trump's plan to end the war with Ukraine very seriously and Russia supports it. The Houthis are stepping back. The Hamas called for an immediate end to war. He's calling for term limits in from Congress so that way people like Nancy Pelosi stop being forever members. Stock markets and crypto hit all-time highs. He sent Kamala Harris and Hillary Clinton into depression. Because of all of this amazing news, white, liberal, ugly women are now refusing to have sex with men. America is in fact being made great again. This man is not even in office yet and he's already making change. It's only been a few days since President Trump was re-elected for his second term and let me show you everything the rest of the world has done. Hamas has began calling for an immediate end to the war. Putin says he takes Donald Trump's plan to end the war in Ukraine very seriously and supports it. China says that they are hopeful for a peaceful coexistence with the United States and respect the choice of the American people. Prince of Saudi Arabia calls to strengthen the relations with the United States following Trump's win. Trump is also set to travel to India in 2025 to meet with their prime minister. And also, Hungary's prime minister has had a telephone conversation with Trump already, saying we have big plans for the future. <laughs> Do you remember when they took foreign affairs out of the debate between Trump and Biden a few years ago? Yeah, this is why. Because my president would have swept the floor with yours. For goodness sakes, the bitch that got selected for you now still has a few months in office and won't do anything with it. <laughs> All of nope. this has happened and we have yet to even begin our four years. I cannot wait for Inauguration Day. <clears throat> That's all I got, bud. Again, uh, sorry if you feel that sad or deeply about your your uh, selection not getting in there. That's not why they're crying. They're crying because they didn't do actual research. They just watched the idiot box. I'm sorry that you're crying because you didn't get your way. <laughs> I do. I do. Re I do remember back in 2016 when Biden won. Uh, all the videos of straight white cis men crying into their front facing cameras. Yeah, I rem I remember that. I uh, definitely, oh, you you wouldn't stop sending me them on Instagram. Do you remember that? All all the the men crying. It's a lie. It's a it's a it's the, all the maga maga hats crying. No, they never happened. Um, like literal tears. Literal oh, tears, not, not fake. We're, we're not doing we're not doing make believe anymore. No, that shit's I over. said Biden won in 2016. I thought we were still doing make believe. 2020, whatever. You know, you know, you know. What are you talking about right now? <laughs> yeah, dude. You remember that though? You don't? You no, don't. I don't. Because it didn't happen. Okay, well. And here's the here's oh. the here's the funniest part about it. They're literally going to their phones, pressing record, and then. <laughs> yeah. You know, it. All, all jokes aside, I do actually feel bad for them. If the people who don't or who actually truly believe like their rights have been taken away if you honestly believe that i feel bad for you i feel bad that you don't have the common sense to actually go look into anything that's what i feel bad for right or just you don't even have don't even look just remember just remember 2016 until when the pandemic started because when the pandemic started obviously everything in the world changed but just remember those years. Yeah. What things were like. Did you have rights? Because Trump was in office. Yeah. Did you have rights then? I think they he did. He didn't take them then? No. Why would he? First of all, you can't just take somebody's, like. You can't, can't just take someone's rights. <laughs> yeah. This isn't <laughs> China. Right. We don't. Oh, my God. Yeah. It just, I mean, I, I saw something and I. It's really funny, but it said, uh, <laughs> nah, never mind. I can't. Uh, we'll talk after. Okay. Um, but yeah, but yeah, you don't just lose your rights because somebody's a the president. There's checks and balances, you know? Yeah. There's checks and balances, guys. So. Okay. <sighs> well. 
I'm sorry for you guys. Sorry for your loss. Who apologizes? So I'm sorry for your loss. Well, you know, I don't like people to feel bad. I feel stop apologizing. I feel bad that I feel bad that they feel bad. You know, it'll be okay though. They're hey, they're there. They're there. Back. They're there. Well, you know, I. They're there. Godspeed. <laughs> Godspeed. You've reached the offices of the Godspeed podcast. We are currently closed. Please leave your information and someone will return your call within 24 business days. Thank you. They say they mad Trump won. They say, why you, why you vote against your interest? You're black. Why'd you vote against your interest? No. Look. Word to my mama, right hand to the stand. I'm raising up my son to be a boy to a man. Oh, that's transphobic, they gon' say they feelings hurt. But I can't tell my son that it's cool to rock a skirt, that's facts. And then they say we ain't going back. How's that? All the evils finna get exposed, ask cat. They tried to muzzle me, but I'm a lion, not a puppy. Industry tried to snub me cause I don't party with puffy. My body is a temple. They screwing on your body while they messing up your mental. And Kamala was not presidential. That's why she kept all her real plans confidential. Pay attention. Then they want to scream, my body, my choice. Men need to yell, my pockets, my choice. Because why do only women get a say? But for 18 years, force a man to have to pay. That's cray. I thought this was the home of the free and the brave. When every day they trying to censor me. How, Sway? And then we try to cancel the facts. We stand by Janet. No, that lady not black. Y'all can't cancel black royalty. Is you dumb? That lady say she finna come and take all our guns. When I just cop the chopper and it sound just like a drum. Intruder come inside, they hear put it up a thumb thumb. Yeah, I got an itch and need to protect my seed. Oh, she the new way? That's just a feeble. I heard her say she ain't doing nothing for black people. She was finna trade on y'all like Cain that done able. We stand by Janet, know that lady not black The truth is we can't let y'all alter the facts A woman is an adult human female, that's facts The truth is the truth and the facts is the facts And that's why I voted for Trump And Trump is my president Let's go